the faster, the better. That's the motto of many German drivers. For them, speed is freedom. It's a pure adrenaline rush, the whole time. Like when a plane takes off and you're pressed back into your seat. It reduces stress and does you good. Basically, it's a drug, a legal drug. But that could soon come to a halt. 30 kilometers an hour. That's now the speed limit in more and more German inner cities, like Aachen. It's a sign of the times, but one that doesn't sit well with Kemal Sack and his brother Jem. The two car tuners feel they're being unfairly targeted. Where it's appropriate and about people's safety, especially for children, kids going to school in the morning, it's absolutely justified. But there are plenty of places where it's not necessary. Also in other zones, where the speed limit is higher than 30, there you can see it's not just about the speed limit and safety, but rather, let's call it arbitrary, just arbitrary. However, the city council says imposing the 30 km per hour limit on major thoroughfares makes Aachen safer, cleaner and greener. And Germany's Environment Agency confirms that slowing down traffic improves air quality. It's just safer for everyone who's walking around here. I can only recommend it to anyone who hasn't tried it. Hop on a bike and go 30 k's that way. Even when there's a 30 km per hour sign there, people ignore it, especially at night. That's something many folks need to rethink. But not everyone wants to rethink things. The sound of his car's engine is music to Kemal's ears. She's my baby. Absolutely. I've had her for over 10 years. And I've put so much work, love and time into her. When it's done, this old Golf 2 will also have 300 horsepower. Overkill at 30 kilometers an hour. For Kemal and his friends, climate protection isn't a high priority. Next door in Belgium, they drive antique cars around, or diesels which really harm the environment. So, eight kilometers away, we're not going to save the planet from that. But Marvin Klinks wants to save the climate and says time is running out. So if a 30 km per hour limit helps, he's all for it. He's puzzled why many drivers can't seem to take their foot off the gas. The rate of compliance is unfortunately pretty low in Aachen. I don't know if they're going way too fast, but they certainly aren't abiding by the rules. There's a collision of interests. Anyone who drives a car like this wants to show off what it can do. This Nissan GTR has over 700 horsepower and consumes 21 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers in city traffic. Here, no one would give us an interview, but Kemal shows us how much fun you can have in such a mean machine in this video. Over the years, my buddies and I have worked towards being able to drift right around a big traffic circle. For that, you need power and preferably rear-wheel drive. Germany is the only European country with no general speed limit on highways. Drivers like Jem fear that imposing a 30 kph limit in cities is the beginning of the end of speed limit free driving in Germany. Sure, safety takes priority. But we all know this isn't just about safety. It's about putting the brakes on people, especially folks who like to drive, tune and shape their cars, and just have fun making them go. And for Kemal and Jem, that's more fun without a general speed limit. But increasingly, they're in the minority. Most Germans are now in favor of more speed limits, for the sake of the climate.